What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I still have a Toyota 4Runner. Um, my apologies to you guys that came to the channel to watch more 4Runner content. Today we're doing a video on a super long-awaited item. Um, and this is it, the Pedal Commander. Let's crack it open. All right, what we got in here is a little manual. Basically all it says is to make sure you come to a stop before you switch all these settings. Um, the way you turn this on is this power button in the middle. It should automatically default to city if you want to go to economy, uh, which I don't think any of you will, but you hold this down for three seconds, it'll jump to economy. You have plus one, plus two, plus three, minus one minus two minus three minus four uh, people who tend to use this put this in city plus two it goes from city sport to sport plus and you can you can toggle different modes with this button right here let's get this installed this is this should be pretty simple to install uh, let's see what we got in the box here Pedal Commander, wire harness, okay, we got some double sided st sticker, double sided sticker, this is probably a little bit of cleaning solution, dashboard wipes, and two zip ties. Alright, let's quickly get this installed. Alright, all we're doing is disconnecting this right here all right there's a button you have to press in pull it off this, this is a female connector we just connect this male end over here and this female end with the push button back to the original spot That's basically it. You see the wire is relatively free. Um, and basically you just run the wire however you think is best. Alright. We have the pedal commander. It's on city. Let's do city plus Let's do city plus four. I don't know what to expect from this. I mean, light throttle doesn't feel much different. Uh, it does feel a smidge faster on city four. Let's just crank it up to Sport Plus, plus four, all the way. My drive's not that long, so hopefully we'll get the best out of the drive. Oh, wow, look. <laughs> you guys saw the whole camera shook. Oh yeah, so Driving it on Sport Plus Plus 4, you really have to, it's still drivable, but you really have to baby the throttle. You give it a little extra, it, the car just really wants to go. Actually, it feels kind of nice. And this is basically what's expected. Uh, the Forerunner runs off an uh, electric throttle body. So your pedal isn't really connected to the throttle body th to the throttle body by a wire. Um, it's electronic. So what the pedal commander does is basically let's say you put your foot down normally 1%. It might 
reconfigure the throttle position sensor to 4% or 5% or even 10% depending on which mode you're in. I mean, I'm still driving it normally. It's This is the craziest mode it's in and it it's not like something you're unaccustomed to driving. It's just that you just baby the throttle a little bit and when you yeah when you give it a little throttle it does go it it's actually nice it feels pretty cool actually from what I got used to from how I got used to driving this forerunner I definitely wouldn't leave it in sport plus plus four just because I don't like stepping on the throttle that you know half a millimeter or you know I prefer stepping on the throttle a little bit and having it in this mode basically you step on it a little bit it just it just goes it goes a little bit too much actually I think well We'll have to probably taper it down to, actually this is a long road ahead of us. Yeah, so it's, it's very weird because you step on the pedal like that much and your RPMs just shoot up tremendously. It's, it's weird. It's not that you actually have any additional power or more torque. It's just you're fooling yourself. And personally, like I said before, my wife got the pedal commander for me almost six months ago. And I never put it on because... I didn't think the Forerunner was that slow. That's my personal opinion because even though I drive this car pretty quick, it, this is not a sports car. This is my everyday daily. So there's really no point. Let's bring it down where I stop. Let's bring it quickly down to just sport maybe plus two and see how that is. I'm just trying to find a good balance between my how I daily drive this car and a little bit of a peppier ride. I'm not looking for anything too crazy. Again, like I said, um, I didn't install this until much later because I frankly, I quite frankly didn't find, didn't think that there was a need to install this. Your opinions most likely will differ from mine. I just haven't found a mode that I want to keep it in. All the city modes plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four don't work. Don't they? I don't feel anything from them. Um, sport. Let's put sport plus four. I mean, it feels a little different, but I don't know. Maybe I just didn't have a high expectation for the device. I'm not exactly sure. We have it in Sport Plus 4 right now. Sport Plus 4 feels okay too. It feels okay. I think for now I'm going to secure it and just leave it in Sport Plus 4.
Again, this is just a tiny little device for $200. It really doesn't change the horsepower torque of the vehicle. Um, I think it's kind of gimmicky. Buy it for yourself, try it out. Amazon has a great um, refund policy. If you don't like it, return it and get your full refund back. Thank you guys for watching to the end of this video. Make sure to hit that like, comment, subscribe. Peace.